Hello and welcome to a LEGO Set 10721 Marvel Super Heroes Easy to Build Juniors. Um, Iron Man vs. Loki, arguably the two most popular characters, the most popular hero and the most popular villain from the cinematic universe. So they are, they're both in this pack and uh, you have a sort of Stark Tower thing going on there and uh, you have the Tesseract again and you got an Iron Man car and these two figures. Now, uh, I got this because of the Iron Man figure really because this mark of Iron Man was originally only found in the uh, the first Avengers sort of like Quinjet area battle, like the Avengers Quinjet battle or whatever the set was called from the first movie. And that was a big set and a very expensive set and I wasn't able to get it when that first came out and the price has gone up quite a bit. Um, the only minifigure that I'm missing from that now that's, that's pretty unique is a uh, the original Black Widow minifigure. And uh, this mark was on also from that. I mean, obviously you can get the like, magnets or whatever of, of this figure, but um, you know, an actual figure that you can get is uh, it's in this set. So, hooray! Uh, Cheap-ish way to get him. So, and this is I think this is my first Junior's set review. And uh, so, quick look on the back here. Fair, it tells you it's very very easy to build. Um, top of the box, You've got an image of Iron Man here. And uh, nothing really on the bottom stuff. I got this for 130 Hong Kong dollars from Wan Chai. Another thing different about this is um, uh, these, even though it's such a small box, it uses the stickers that you would normally get for the really big cardboard boxes. So you can just cut that and open the box, and you can arguably reseal the box with just extra tape, I guess. So that, that's, that's good. Quick look at the booklet here. Same cover, really, just extended. Opening up, you got a cartoon. Oops, cartoony image of the set for close for kids, and they make it really easy to build here. The instructions right here, uh, it lays out every single piece that you need, and uh, each page is either one or two pieces really, um, two different kinds at least, and it's very easy to build, very quick to build. Um, here, and you can assemble the entire minifigure instructions right there uh, on the back. It does have a parts guide, so that, that's, that's not missing anything. So if you want, you can you know probably build your own, uh, apart from a few unique pieces in here. There's at least two unique pieces in here. And uh, on the back here, let's see. Oh, there's an ad, uh, ad for LEGO Junior's Quest. So there's, there's an app on the back there. Eh? And here, your adverts uh, for the new Space um, Marvel Superhero sets. Ready for more build and play? Uh, sure. Whatever box say. Now, there are actually no spare pieces in this set, so that's, that's that might disappoint some, I think. So let's look at the two uh, pieces that come in this set. You have this, a Tesseract display thing. Some, we got some lightsaber bars on the back. Just plug in there. Oops. And uh, this 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 thing is literally just a plate and two blocks and this this one stud center thing. And uh, this is one of those newer railings. Well, not new anymore, but it doesn't have any holes. It doesn't go through, which is good and a bad thing. Well, we have variations, so that's good, I guess. And this blue cube, which is a darker color than what we usually get, uh, as the quote unquote tesseract. So with the uh, mind gem inside. And here we have the Iron Man car, which has um, got two unique pieces. You got this front plate there. Pop this off. Like an Iron Man print design going on, which I'm sure a lot of people building mechs and uh, robot versions can definitely use this to make some custom figures. Pretty sure someone would. Um, got this silly thing on top of here. It's meant to be the front uh, window. Looks just weird. Like, why did they even use that piece? I don't know. And also have this piece here, a stock license plate. That's also printed. No stickers involved, which is good. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, on the side here, you got these um, energy bars, I guess you want to call them. And on the back here, you have a uh, blue piece there. So it's meant to be the the, the, the thrusters or whatever. Uh, the overall look of the car is kind of okay. I'll probably slim it down by removing the two side pieces. These these pieces there. Just just remove that. It looks a bit nicer. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's it's okay. It's uh, nothing special. It's for, you know, these sets are aimed at younger children, so I, I kind of get it, kiddie. 
Here's, here's an odd thing, this, this whole sort of base car piece, I think I've seen it before, but I've not really seen it with these two pieces, these wheel connecting pieces, permanently attached to the base. Uh, they're, they're, pl they're normal Lego pieces, they're plugged in, and you, you still see the studs inside the gaps. But um, it's got this centre plastic piece that's, that goes through and holds these pieces in there. Now, you can probably rip this out if you put some strength on it, but... Um, and so it separates into the actual pieces again, but uh, yeah, it's wonder why. Wonder why they uh, permanently attach that. Oh well. Mini figure time. We have another Loki board. Oh, I'm kidding, of course. Let's take a quick look at him again. He's got the soft helmet, no back head prints, no back body print. This cape is somewhere between the new soft capes and the old hard capes. It's not that soft and it's not that hard. It's got that flat sort of uh, papery feel to it from the old capes, but it's definitely a lot softer. So I don't know what, I'm not really sure what's going on there. Because he has another Loki staff, another gem there. Mm, yeah, there's another Loki. You can get him in quite a few sets, so. Yeah, a bit boring. Um, print's okay. Mm. Here is Iron Man Mark 7. I have reviewed bootlegs of him. I have, I, have a, I have a magnet of him. One of those new magnets is the big circle disc and it is a metal, metal thing that plugs into the back of the body. And I can't seem to remove him from that metal plug, so I'm not going to bother anymore. But uh, at least I have a official, finally have an official Mark 7 Iron Man. Previously, I've only kept the bootlegs and stuff. Inside there, you've got the standard Tony Stark head that we've seen in many, 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 many sets. They could have given us one of the the uh, the less frequent ones with a scared face on the back, even battle damage face, but no, went with the normal head. So yeah, Mark Seven, uh, very simple design, very uh, I like it because um, it's one of the ones that I was missing. So I guess I'm a bit biased there, but uh, yeah. So this is a nice little set, and yes, it is just like advertised. Very easy to build, very quick to build, but you get two nice minifigures here. This, the price is actually the same as the Star Wars Battle Pack, so in terms of value, I'm going to go with the Star Wars Battle Packs because you get four figures. Uh, but you do get a unique printed piece, two unique printed pieces there, and you do get a figure that was previously probably quite hard for most people to get and quite expensive to get because he's only been in one of the first uh, Avengers big sets. So that that's good. So if you're missing this figure, definitely check out this set and try to pick him up because you got another Loki figure. I don't know what to do with all these Loki figures. Well, I'm going to have a Loki party or something. I don't know. Uh, the test about display pieces for this set is something that I think, okay, kind of makes sense. It's, you know, it's part of the film. It's, it's on display. It's easy to get stolen and stuff. Yeah, okay, it kind of makes sense. This car is... Interesting. These things don't really uh, do it for me, though. I, I, I get the concepts kind of fun and interesting, but uh, for me, uh, I like stuff that actually represents something that you might get in the films or might get in the shows and whatnot. Uh, Iron Man will not drive an Iron Man car in the films. <laughs> it's it's like um, one of those Takara Tommy cars where they have Star Wars characters in the shape of a car. I, I don't. I don't want that. I don't care about that stuff. If you like it, fine. Uh, it's just interesting to see, but it's not something I like myself. And, and this car goes with the same. And um, but um, you know, I, I get it. It's just like a fun little thing for younger kids, and it, it's they'll they'll like it. It's just, and I think it does, does look okay for the most part. I just I don't really care about it myself. Doesn't mean it's bad. So. Um, but for, for the price this goes for, um, technically it's pretty good because you get unique pieces and printed pieces here, but um, for a collector's point of view, uh, I think like people who can't afford the big ship, most people are just going to get it for Mark 7. So yeah. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the like button, subscribe button, also leave a comment below how you feel about this set or any other superhero uh, junior set. I, I'll i try to get the Spider-Man one so I can review the cartoon version of Green Goblin. That's a, that's a figure that looks very fun to mess around with. And if you want to support this channel, please consider clicking my other videos on LEGO Marvel superheroes or DC superheroes, Star Wars, and many, many other sets, official and bootleg sets, so maybe you can do a little comparison yourself. Hopefully without ad block, and I'll appreciate that a lot, and I'll appreciate it even more if you uh, give me some support on Patreon there, but you don't have to, of course. Most importantly, take care, have a nice day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.